It's been some time since my last entry. I have returned from the World's Fair and have seen the power of electricity, which has inspired in me the beginnings of a new thesis. There was a set of data that proved vital from the results I received early in the year at the Priory, a hospice care facility. There was a timely thunderstorm occurring during a young patient's the final moments. They took unique notes of an extraordinary, sharp smell, like that of sulfur or stale water, which filled the air immediately after her final breath. I did find it odd that there was missing data, and when I pressed senior members of the Priory about it they would remain speechless on the matter, or change the subject. Quite odd. But up to this point they've been very encouraging of my work so I have little reason to pursue the issue farther. The explosive potential of electricity, and the implosive nature of the other, I believe, would rupture the veil between realms and create a liminal space. We or anything beyond could traverse between each other's worlds. The Priory was extremely pleased to hear this and have paid for my expenses on top of acquiring a generator. have accepted me into their residency to continue my study of phantology. I believe once a person's link has been severed in our world, there is an implosion of energy. You can feel it within the air. It feels the void of life. I believe this is when the void is at its thinnest, and we can quickly glimpse to the other side. The pursuit of knowledge from the ancients is a very exciting thought. A theory of mine I'd like to explore is that what we call a soul requires a hefty amount of energy to be lifted from the diseased and transported to the beyond. For now I'll coin this ether. As I hope the souls reach beyond the clouds, I must confess I am at a loss on the purpose of ether. But the Priory have conducted previous experiments and have gifted me their results which I am most grateful for. I found it odd that a young patient was admitted into hospice care. You would usually see the elderly here. I gotta find a way through this. There has been a growing number of people being admitted into the order. While on my morning stroll, 
I was confronted by an individual I haven't seen around the premise before. He mentioned his name was Milton, an investigator who was hired on by the state. He mentioned that recently there have been an increase of missing people around the area, and he inquired if I've seen anything suspicious. I assured him, there's been nothing suspicious at the Priory. However, if something arose, I'd send a telegram his way. He seemed really displeased with my answer. So I inquired why he's suspicious have brought him to the Priory. Milton mentioned that the local town had a few children gone missing, and he being a father himself couldn't fathom the thought. He continued saying he doesn't like getting his emotions involved with a case as it can cloud the facts. I hope for his sake he finds what he's looking for. One of the recently appointed members had a very familiar posture. It reminded me of one of the older members who passed away earlier in the year. My eyes must be playing tricks on me. I thought I saw shadows following me. This building catches light in very odd ways. She's close. I can feel it. 